All right, we haven't seen this lady in a few videos. I feel like I haven't shown her off in quite some time. So hopefully you guys don't mind seeing Pop-Tart right here. This is my three-year-old green anaconda and she is definitely growing up very quickly. I would say she's about almost seven feet, if not right around there. So she's extremely tame. She's very docile. I don't have any issues with her at all. Um, very, you know, for what she is as the green anaconda, she has very nice colorations, nice bright greens on her. And she does have a lot of nice markings. So I know a lot of people don't like the green anacondas because they're not as fancy looking as a lot of the uh, ball pythons or the boas, which have really, you know, all the morphs and stuff like that. Which basically we're all just, um, you know, created by well, nature, but it's also with the breeders. They put all the combos together. So it is nice to see a snake that is um, just n as natural as you would see it out in the wild. And you probably see behind me uh, the Argentine bow, which is another beautiful locality snake. I'm not saying she's a locality, but bow snakes have no morphs in them. Bow snakes are just as natural and as normal as you would see just walking around anywhere in South America. So she has really nice uh, oranges, orange colors behind her eyes, and I really like her belly as well. So it's a lot of uh, pixelations, a lot of cool yellows and blacks and greens and stuff like that, which gets a lot of people confused, I think, with um, the yellow green anaconda. So the yellow green anaconda is, well, more yellow, and they don't really have the spots or the bands, and their faces do look a lot different. But there are hybrids, people do like to mix the yellows and the greens, and they do look more yellowish than the greens, but you can definitely uh, see the distinct uh, markings on, you know, if the greens are in there. But I don't have any of the hybrids, I don't have any of the yellows, the yellows are nice, but I just have to go with the classic green anaconda when I was getting her. And then I have two other ones, so I had two females, and then the male that I just got. And I'm working on the male right now. He can still be a little bitey if I get around his face. But it's nice that I have her and my other one that uh, I can hang on to and I can hold. And then I think the, both of these girls would be, both of the girls that I do have would be great ambassadors for uh, just getting into snakes or even big snakes or just crippling that fear that anacondas are man eaters, which they're not. There's never been a recorded case of an anaconda eating anybody. Now I'm not saying that they can't kill you because they're obviously when they're adults, they can be dangerous. So you do have to be careful about it, but they're not actively seeking to hurt a human. They're not in the jungles looking for humans to eat. They have plenty of other options to eat and humans were and are never on the list, no matter what uh, Google tells you or <laughs> what your uncle's uncle's friend's uh, story is about how his friend got eaten by his pet anaconda. It just it's never happened. Uh, so I will have to get a permit for her. I have to get a permit. I think I have to look into it more, but in Ohio, you can't get a permit until the snake is at least 12, well, it hits 12 feet. Once it hits 12 feet, the state really wants you to start filling out the paperwork, have the state come into your room, in your house, and make sure everything is set up okay. And just to know that the snake is actually being housed correctly. So that'll be probably next year. And I'll go over that uh, topic with the people that are interested, that are in Ohio listening to this. We're watching this because some of you guys have asked if I could go over that process. And it's a little confusing because they kind of throw in the venomous stuff in the same process, but it's a lot more lenient. I think one permit holds up to X amount of animals. So I'm not paying a hundred and some dollars every single year for the Burmese and then two anacondas because the males, the male grains should stay under, uh, I don't know, 10 feet. So I'm, so I'm told we'll see if that actually happens and I'll just hang on to her. We'll swing around here and check out this other beautiful lady. So I know a lot of you guys do like seeing the Argentines. Uh, you guys have mentioned that you've seen them on other channels as well, and they are very, very beautiful animals. So this is kind of difficult with uh, Pop-Tart uh, going crazy around me and the camera. 
But you can see this is just a natural body color of her. It's just a classic black and white. There are the max pink lines, which they are a lot lighter in color. And then down the saddles and down the body, there's blotches of very nice reds and pinks. So if you want to get into the max pinks, I've been told you really want to get the high end ones because I'm told that if you get the lower end max pinks, and I don't know how you can tell the difference on them. Apparently, they're very beautiful and they're very vibrant pink as babies. And then as they get older, uh, sometimes the pink can kind of uh, disappear and then they sometimes might look like a normal one. So she's, her, I'm, her temperament has always been hit or miss. When she's out of the cage, she's pretty good. When she's in her cage, she's extremely defensive and she definitely loves to be territorial and she loves to fight. And then here comes Pop-Tart around the camera. But, you know, I always take a hook. I always tap her on the head. I always rub her body with a hook just so she knows. And even if I tap her on the head and I reach my hand in there, she still will strike at me. So I really like to take her body halfway out of the cage with a hook. And then I can grab her without any issues. But that's just what um, you know, I've dealt with with her. Phenomenal eater. Um, they do get bigger than the regular B, uh, the BI, the common boas, and all the, a lot of the morphs. So if you're really looking for a big boa constrictor, I would really suggest looking into the, um, the Argentines or, you know, a true red to like a Guyana, a Suriname, or a Peruvian. They all do get a little bit bigger. And, um, these are very difficult to find. You do need to find a specialized breeder. They are not imported into the States anymore because they are on a endangered watch list down in South America because um, of us humans are overtaking their natural uh, resources. And we're kind of wiping them out, which is kind of sad. So the prices are, I would say, they've definitely gone up. Uh, but I'd say they're around 700 to 1,000, depending on male or female, and depending on what breeder you get them from, but I would definitely say uh, be ready to shell out at least, I don't know, eight or nine hundred dollars on these, which, you know, for a snake that could possibly go out of the circulation of the ecosystem and you owning one, then I think that would be well worth it. I think it's like, it's a good, I mean, I know it's super sad, but it's a, it's a good topic. Like this, you know, possibly could go instinct and I, and I do own one. And then, of course, these are on the non-import-export list into America as well, which is why in the 90s, you could pick these up for like 50 bucks. And then now they're like, I don't know, 1500 to 1700 and then her tail is going around the lens. So hopefully she, like she's all wrapped around this thing. Hopefully she doesn't break it because she's pretty strong. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to see you guys, the Anaconda, and then the Argentine, which is a you know, favorite on a lot of people, and, um, you know, just a basic keeping on an Argentine is, I keep her just like every other boa, same humidity, same temperature as every other snake in the room, she's on ambient temperature, she's at the very top, so she gets a lot of nice heat, uh, so it's about 85 degrees in here, so no issues with that, no problems with feedings, uh, digestion, or uh, shedding, or anything like that, so hopefully you guys have an awesome day, see you guys on the next video.